Ladies and gentlemen, this is and this is another one of unsubscribe podcast uh, clips. World War II history with Vendigun. Yeah, Vendigun is also part of the podcast apparently, and the Federation obviously. Yeah, Vendigun is awesome as well. I've been watching his video. I don't know how long, but yeah, I've watched a few of his videos, especially the Bible one, which was awesome. Yeah, his biblical lore that he talks about. Uh, <laughs> there was some guy who attacked Vendigun recently, who had to like <laughs> remove his video and I don't know, like cancel his channel or something. I'm pretty sure I remember watching a clip of that or something that he was just attacking, which was the most hilarious thing ever. Like, do you even have a point? His whole thing was like, oh, I'm feeling this. It's all about the feelings, right? Like, I'm feeling he's this. I'm feeling when Digun is this. Like, get the fuck out of here. That was insane. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this, this is going to be about World War II history. I, are they going to talk about World War II? Because I'm pretty sure like yeah, Patterson has talked about that a lot. Or is he going to talk about like other videos, like how people teach history, which I'm more interested in because obviously I don't know about like how, how things are happening in the West and things like that. But yeah, apparently uh, colleges and things are leaning so left that somehow they're becoming communist or something like, or at least dreamy eyed about communism, right? Now I'm hoping that there is like a, this miscommunication thing. Like they are just like, I'm hoping that they're just exploring these things while well, like knowing like communism is like what it is and like capitalism is like, it's what's the reason they're like can't have this kind of conversation and has this kind of freedom on things. And they're just like free balling ideas of like how idea of communism works, idea of how everything works, right? Socialism uh, and capitalism and things like that. I'm hoping it's that and people are misunderstanding it. Because if it's like, uh, if they are actually have this like dreamy eye about communism, like, oh, communism is great and things like that. I don't even know what to think of that. Like, this is what college campuses are now. This is how people, are gonna, so next generation of people going to have that kind of mentality. This is like that circle thing, right? Uh, like things are so bad, slowly turns to good. Then some shit like this happen. People have dreamy eye about things and goes to bad again. So are you telling me the communism is going to rise in the future? Is that what's going to happen? But yeah. So it's going to be interesting. Let's watch it. Right now, it's World War II history class, and mm. pretty much the whole class there's like three graded papers. But other than that, it's just graded discussions mm -hmm. with like one talking point. Yeah, and it's like the the scope of what some of these kids think in college is mind blowing. Mm. Uh, I would say over half of high school kids right now, or like new college age kids in America, believe that America. Uh, use nuclear weapons when we didn't have to for fun just because we wanted to know if it was it would work Yeah, yeah. Um, they have never heard of the Holodomor. They think that communism's awesome. It's never done anything wrong uh, Like Federation says like newer ones I'm hoping as they like progress through their like curriculums and like by the end of the call that like they've read enough things that they realize like wait a minute We were idiots Communism like has always had issues and things. I'm hoping they come to that revelation and this all this thing is overblown. And as far as the like nuclear bomb thing, I think it's it's not just about today's kids. That that thing has been like there for a long time, right? Like that that's one of the most famous things. Like okay, US didn't have to nuke something uh, because they were already bombing the cities, and that was enough or something, right? That that kind of theory is already alive right now, right? And I've watched many videos, history videos, and people expert talks about it, and basically come to like sure if we didn't use nukes. We would have still won, but I think the most of Japan would have been destroyed because they were not ready to surrender. That wasn't their thing, right? Nuke was the thing that showed them like, okay, you are up against something completely different. You can't win. Um, what else? I don't know. It's pretty much just trash. It was wild to me. Like my first big trip to DC with all the, you know, small things I have going on. Uh, <laughs> being in a bar with people like <laughs> talking about <laughs> communism in a positive light in the capital of the United States. I am not fucking kidding you. It was the bar that like Obama like had like was famous for taking like a huge drink of the beer out of like that photo. Okay. Across the street, if you exit the bar, you're staring at it is the Holodomor Memorial. That wasn't real communism though. Oh, uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's not real communism. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Today, we're gonna gonna <laughs> Today we're going to talk about Christ. Today we're going to talk about That was 50%. <laughs> It'll be different when I do it, guys. I promise. It works out every fucking time. It's going to be different this time. Though. It's weird. Like the Holodomor, like basically the Holocaust, mm -hmm. but for Ukrainians that yeah. nobody talks about. Yep. Oh, there's because more, it's there communism. Was, there was 
like most people don't everybody thinks of like concentration camps they just talk about Auschwitz Auschwitz was like one of one of the few in Western Europe there was more concentration camps in Eastern Europe than there was in Western Europe period by far by far like yeah. it's not even close uh, what was the uh, Dachau I think it was one of the big ones I don't know the specific names of them the uh, Dachau was third biggest if I recall right second or third uh, I remember it because there was a video I did related to a battle at the end of the war that was right next to Dachau. So yeah, yeah. that one was... Uh, oh, love the Wendigo made a video about this thing. How the hell did I miss that one? I mean, I mean, it makes sense. Like, are we really like sitting here and debating? That that's how the world has become now. We are debating who has better human rights thing. Is it like capitalist West world or like, uh, you know, like communist? Are we forgetting Gulag and things like that, right? I mean, the communists don't care about human rights, right? It's about the like the idea first, then any human. That's the whole thing. Communism always in ends up like it's about the idea of communism and the nation first before any individual. That's the whole thing, right? That's why when China you hear about like major people disappearing, like billionaires disappearing because of this shit. So is that really surprising? Like you know, like in East uh, there were more concentration camp than the West. I mean, of course there were, right? I, I feel like you know there's confusion invest or at least i'm hoping that that well i think they're like uh, you know confusing what a communism is i think they're just fed up with this capitalistic uh, over capitalistic thing where rich gets richer and there is no middle class middle class disappearing so they're just thinking that oh communism just means everything free and everything's utopia i think that's where they're going without really realizing what uh, communism is i think that's the problem uh, in Austria. Yep. What battle was it? So you and Nick can fucking... <laughs> the, the battle of minutes. Castle Itter. I guess we were going to be quiet for a minute. <laughs> Castle Itter? Castle Itter. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. I made, I made a video story. about that. It's a great it's okay. story. You, you're, it's fantastic. You're, I'm nervous to make You're the only because... person on the podcast that just actually lifts weights. So like... <laughs> 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 this but. is... Carrying the weight of the silence is just. Joe, you bench press in silence. <laughs> What's your max bench? Silence. <laughs> What's your, of <laughs> your your max bench is nine minutes of not talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <just> showing up. <laughs> like fat is obviously fat is done with his history but brendan also knows that when goes like i'm the basically wikipedia here let's be, let's talk about the third biggest concentration camp and things <laughs> and he's just like okay i'm just gonna listen right now i'm not saying anything <laughs> <laughs> So, 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 so let me ask, why are you afraid to make the Itter video? Because the amount of nuance required to be able to say things like, hey, there was this time where America teamed up with the oh, German hold on. military. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Because yeah, I, I want to see your take on it. So I did the video. Well, this is interesting considering yeah. no, current events. Shut yeah. up. This shut up. Don't look to your left. <laughs> don't look to your left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty good at this on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I know. If you, don't you fucking bad me. <laughs> I just pull focus on you. I, you get straight right now. I'm guessing Wendy also had some controversy apparently around that time as well. I'm guessing that's the reason that recent guy, that guy basically who tried to shit talk Wendy Goon or failed because of all that. I'm, that's what I'm guessing. I don't know. Comment down more details, I guess. I can almost hear his voice. <laughs> so. Did you just say I had a bad take? <laughs> So, um, when I was explaining it, I didn't get flagged for this, and I do think this is the historical context. At the end of World War II, Germany had exhausted the majority of its, like, its fully aged trained fighting forces. Mm -hmm. Like, this was in 45. They were throwing whoever they could, like, they were forcing, 15, 16 year old yeah. kids with rifles out into the field, right? So, what? The difference 15, 16 and what differentiates Itter so much is the Wehrmacht, which was the army effectively, yep. was composed of, like, children. Uh, fighters who were raised in like the schools of the Third Reich, like pushed onto the fields. And the SS was made up of the officers who ran the Dachau concentration camp. Uh, the officers realized that they would not be favorable in a trial after the war. Uh, so they were going to fight to the last man. But several soldiers of the Wehrmacht realized that the Americans weren't just executing prisoners and they could probably surrender. So a Wehrmacht officer 
who was effectively leading an army of high schoolers or a, a, a station of high schoolers, um, realized that maybe he doesn't want them to get killed over nothing. So he surrenders and goes to the American side. Uh, and there was a prison, C- Castle Litter. Yep. I mean, you, you know the yep. story. Nearby Dachau, where the SS guards uh, were planning to attack. So, well, they had just evacuated it. Um, Vermont general gets the, or officer gets the Americans to go help. SS comes to attack, and the Vermont helps the Americans get the prisoners out of the castle. Yep. Yeah. I think as long as you plan to the nuance of like, because it's not saying, you're not saying in that, that like, oh, Germany you, wasn't. Uh, as you explain this, could you who are shift you? your chair closer who are you? this way? Do I know you? You're, you're starting to hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, he turned it. He did 48 minutes talking to everyone. Now he just shifted completely to the <laughs> you, you committed to the bit, and I wanted to fucking sewer slide. <laughs> Continue on this yeah. story, though. So you have uh, your different... Oh, no, no. I, was, I mean, I was, oh, I was no. at the my, end of it. My, just... my whole concern is just you have to actually have the nuance to be able to say, like, hey, there's varying grades of evil when it comes to Germans in World War II. Some of them were sick. Oh, my God. That is so truthful about I understand what Federation means. Like, I'll say, I'll say that in, reacts, in these videos a lot because, but, you know, like, I have a hard time just saying that about the gray area, right? People have a really hard time understanding that. People always want, like, result or, like, definitive answers of things it's either this or that like you need to understand the context the nuance of things but I'm, i feel like fair is like one of the few people like i've seen his recent videos right like hour long videos 40 minute long video he puts the, he paints the picture really well so i think he can do it like maybe it will take a long time for him to like you know properly create a script or something but i think he can do it 16 year old kids that didn't have a choice and some of them were you know political radicals that actually believed in that shit but you can't have opinions like that on the internet well well the, the way you explain it isn't in such a way to say that like oh germany wasn't bad at some parts it's to say that germany was so wicked that they were using effectively meat for the war machine anyone yeah. who could hold a rifle was pushed to the front lines during the battle of berlin there's stories of some like artillery positions where the average age of the soldier was 14 like just absolutely horrific war crimes that were being committed. I don't like I don't like the average word because that implying that might have been like something like eleven, twelve year old. I can't even process that. Like the fuck, man! I didn't know this. Like that that was the end stages of the war. I've seen many World War Two videos, like many. Right, I started this channel uh, reaction as history reaction type of way. Right, like four years ago. Yeah, it's been four plus years now. Right. Uh, I've seen many World War II videos, right? A lot of them I had to, like, I don't know, because of some issue or not, I had to take down something. But I've watched many World War II videos. Like, my older viewers probably would know that. Nobody has talked about this. Like, why are people not talking about that? Like, is is that an issue? Like, like Frederick said, like, saying, talking about that is an issue or something? Because people talk about that, like, war from start to end, but I, I didn't know about this element. It's not to say that, you know, they were, it's not like, oh, Germany wasn't so bad. It's that they were so bad that there were people in this position. And, and it, it realistically, it wasn't like Germany was so bad necessarily. It's just like you have a thousand people in charge, mm-hmm. roughly at the top. Yeah, the G- German that, government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, of course, that of course. They're, everyone else is told Germany is in danger. Your homeland is being invaded. You have to protect yourself. Mm-hmm. And it means that yeah. you have to protect your homeland. Like, yeah, and it's, yeah. It's a, it's a it's common ideology. lie that's being, that's been told as long as, you know, humanity yeah. existed. Yeah, there's, there's like a lot of people who like, so like you said, several people who like lived down the country lane were handed a rifle and told to march. They didn't know like yeah. the gravity of what was happening. Uh, the people who do not get that excuse. Yeah, that's the, see, nationalism, patriotism is very tricky thing. You need to know like with common sense, like how far to take that, right? Sometimes that's, that can go out of hand, right? So... Uh, People have used the patriotism and nationalism element to do do ridiculous shit, right? Just like, oh, it's your homeland. You need to protect it, like, any means necessary. Like, that has to be like, okay, at what point, at what goal? Like, like 12-year-old soldiers, that's just too fucked up type of way. So, but this is the struggle, like, people have all the time, right? I hear about, like, blind patriotism, right? Even in my country and many places, like, I hear them, like, the fuck is wrong with you, right? Like, there is a patriotism. And there's like blind patriotism, like, you know, like borderline probably fucked up, right? That's not going to lead anywhere good. It's like, I can't hear bad. I can't see bad. Like, that's, that's not right. 
uses, like the SS officers and people right, like that right. responsible. Yeah, so that's why that's why I think the Castle of Vitter would work because there is that distinguisher. Like they had no excuse; they they right. knew what was coming. What's yeah. I mean, you even get like in in the the South during the Civil War. It's like people think like, oh, the South fought for slavery. It's like four percent of Confederate soldiers own slaves. Yeah, on four like percent of the South. Yeah, on it's on like, like the government level. Yeah, d- definitely. But like when it comes to like the individual soldiers, the people who are marching, these guys couldn't read or write. Most yeah. of them, they lived in the backwoods. Yeah, I mean it's like that with any war. You know, people are victims of some rich man's game. They're just pawns. Yeah, about the South thing, I've seen many things and even read many things. And only con- this so such a great thing to me. I've come to one conclusion that slavery element was real. Like there was the thing that kind of driven certain people and these certain people were like the movers, the prob- the people who like pushes the cause and things. And they were, they were part of it. But the majority of people who like enlisted, majority of people who were like fighting for, were fighting for more like a state's right and whatever, like they didn't agree with the union, right? So you can kind of see that like, okay, South, you know, Confederacy fought for the, sl- you know, slavery and things like that. And that would be kind of true, but that wouldn't be the full picture, would it, right? Because most people wouldn't, wasn't thinking that, right, at the time. So that is one of those great things, like, how, you need to see nuance there, basically. Like, you can, one statement made about that is going to be false. So you need to have, like, full thing. But yeah, all right, well, that was World War II history with Wendy Goon and the Fat which, which was, I need to check the Wendy Goon channel. Like, he, he made a video about this, like, I didn't know that. Right, how many how many videos I've seen of vending like the Bible thing I remember. Before that, uh, I think there was some stories and things. That, uh, I don't I don't remember watching uh, history war World War type of video from him. I need to check that out. Right, uh, I guess I'll see you next time.